So either there's no brake fluid or the callip is frozen, but either way, I gotta jump in. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Right behind me is my 2004 VW R32. This is going to be my project car for the next couple months while I get it ready for the Wisconsin ice racing season. The last couple videos of this car, firstly was me going over why I bought it. Then I did a decontamination car wash to get the body all nice and clean before I put it in for the next couple months because it's already snowing outside in Chicago. Aww. So go check those out. Another thing I just did was I washed up the summer wheels and ties, or rims and ties, and I put them away for storage. If you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to check out my Instagram page, at GasTax, uh, where you can see the random videos I post that are short form, not for YouTube. So check those out. Today, what we are gonna be focusing on is brakes and shocks. So I can tell these calipers and brake pads look relatively fine, but the rotors are pretty rusted. I don't know how long this car sat. The rear rotors are terrible. And I did drive this car about 40 miles, and I can tell the calipers well, the pads and the rotors did not make contact. So either there's no brake fluid or the callip is frozen, but either way, I gotta jump in to start looking at what I'm working with so I can either order new rotors and, and, and pads or see if I can get these rotors turned. So stay tuned while I jump into the first project on my build of Ice Racing VW R32. except the rear right one let me get a light here quick so you can see what I'm working with all right so as you can tell I'm not the best at filming yet but that will be practice so this true screw right here was stripping my dumb ass didn't spray it with the uh, PB blaster so I just sprayed it um, and I've got one of those, you know, as seen on TV tools. Let me just pull it out here. The good thing about having uh, all this time to get my shop in order is I know where everything is. And so I got these little strip tools. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it goes. <laughs> All right, so I think I got the right size chosen. So this, you man, have <laughs> drill a hole, and then you turn the bit around, and it should catch. Uh, we'll see. So now you actually use the bit in reverse. And that did nothing. Perfect. All right, well, that didn't work. So now I'm just gonna try drill the head off of this bit, and then I'll use vice grips to get the remaining bit of the screw out. Huh, perfect size. That is off now, I'll just pull that off. And since I am going to be um, replacing the other rear rotor, I may as well just buy a set. Well, you buy sets. So I'll replace, well clearly these guys didn't because they're two different rotors. I'll replace the two rear rotors with new ones. Um, the front I'm gonna see if I can get turned. 
no point in getting those replaced if I don't have to. So I'm gonna go take that one off. A few moments later. All right, so I try to hook up the vice grip. There's just not enough room here. So I'm just gonna drill. Let me just double check that this bit isn't gonna screw up these threads. Okay, this bit is a bit too big. Glad I checked. Okay, so this one, this bit fits. Uh, that's if it's exact, but I'm gonna step it down a bit. <clears throat> Perfect. Now I'm gonna try uh, unscrew or, or drill out this bit. <clears throat> okay, it's not going. exactly center here so just got to keep my eye out that it's not screwing up the internal I might be able to get something in there now <clears throat> that might work let's try it out no all right I'm just gonna reduce drill bit size and drill it out is just break uh, the remaining uh, screw out of here. Learn by doing. I'm going to try tap it out. Tap, tap, tap it out. Alright, so guys, anyways, all four rotors are removed. I'm gonna replace the rear two. Uh, since this screw stripped off in there, I don't know what I gotta do to either replace this. Uh, I'll figure that out later. Uh, right now, I'm going to leave the calipers where they are. Uh, so I can drain the brake. in my garage I underestimated how much light I need so I'll install that bear with me while I try to figure out how to edit these I've got four cameras going do I just need to use one do I need to move them I don't know what I'm gonna do but bear with me hopefully I will learn as time goes but let's recap today I've taken off all the rotors and the calipers uh, it looks like the rear rotors there are trash, they need to be replaced. Uh, the front rotors look fine, I think they just need to be turned. So I'll take them to a shop to see if I can get them turned, if anyone still turns rotors here. Here are the calipers here, the reason I wanted to take them off now was because those are one of the parts I haven't ordered. Because um, I didn't know what I needed, rotors, brakes, calipers, whatever. So, I have taken them out, the front, Pads look fine, the rear pads are tossed just with the rear rotors. It looks like, well it is, the rear left uh, caliper is seized up. The rear right caliper was replaced with the non-stock or non-OEM uh, brake caliper. So let's see if you can, the non-OEM R32 brake caliper, see if you can tell the difference. You can see this is the the stock one, it's glossy, it's like powder coated. This one is just rattle canned. I don't know if you can tell the difference. They are the same part number, but 
uh, R32s uh, have the same calipers as a couple different cars. I'm sure if you just ordered the R32 one, there was an upcharge because it was powder coated blue. So whoever out of the, I think the 709 owners of this car had to replace them. But clearly they were advised to replace both of them because the left one was seized or getting close to it and they only replaced the one. So anyways, so now I gotta see if I can get the, the front rotors turned or the rear rotors. Um, see if I can replace the rear calipers or just um, see if I can rebuild them. I've never rebuilt the caliper. I don't know how straightforward it is. But these calipers definitely need a deep cleaning. There's rust spots, there's high spots, there's low spots, preventing the calipers from or the, the pads from moving easily. So I need to work on those. That will be a separate video. But thanks again for tuning in. And this is, I guess, the start of many videos to getting my R32 back to optimal running performance. Until next time, see you then.